Okay, I got another little uh, tip here that I came up with. Uh, the instructions talk about um, pressing the end of the push rod into the push rod itself. Well, I don't have a press that's big enough, so uh, again, I got some of my old woodworking tools out. Got a bar clamp or a pipe clamp here and uh, drilled a little hole in a piece of a scrap aluminum that this will fit right inside of to hold it and backed it up with wood. And you can see that there, and that's, that'll sit in there like that, and I have a corresponding hole on the other side. And I got my push rod ready to go. I heated it up, just let it on the wood stove, and I had going in the shop here, got it warmed up a little bit. So we'll put it in there and see what happens. So I put one end in, put the other end in with the uh, push rod end in there, and I just start cranking. Kind of have to hold it straight because it wants to twist off to the side. Well, you can see it's... Uh, it's kind of going in pretty nicely there. i get my hand over here. I said it wants to go to the side a little bit because of the, you can hear it going in there. And there it is. It's seated. Done deal.